first we have to install virtual env we can use pip installer to install virtual env okay installation completed so next i am going to create a virtual environment named venv for python 3.5 So if you want to create a virtual environment for Python 3 or 3.5, 3.6, you can specify that here. Okay. So let me run this. Okay, done. It has created a folder named venv. Next, I am going to activate the virtual environment which I created. You can use this command, source command to activate the environment. Once it activated, you can see a symbol like this. That means the environment is activated. After that, you can use pip command to install any Python package or module in that environment. So let me let me install Django. Okay, installation completed. Now let me type, let me go to Python interactive shell. You can see that when I typed Python, it opened Python 3.5. I will show you why it's open Python 3.5. You can see that I already activated the environment in this environment you can see in inside this bin directory you can see that it's mapped python to python 3.5 so that is why by default it's opening python 3.5 okay so let me go to python interactive shell then try to import Django. Okay, it's working. Let me check from where it's imported Django. Let me check the location of the module. You can use this file double underscore file. So you can see that it's imported from the virtual environment which I created. inside virtual environment under lib directory under python 3.5 site packages there actually it's installed django okay so this way we can create virtual environment for python 3 and above and install uh, python packages and modules